I'm Chuck. I'd love to be your movie guy. And I don't even know where to begin with the explanation of this film. Hagazusa is an endurance test. It's a psychological horror film for people with an appreciation of art and lovers of cinema. I do know that over 50% of you are going to hate it or think it's stupid. And that's okay because different things for different people. But as a lover of film and art, it is my duty to share things like Hagazusa with you because a long time ago, people shared things like this with me and it expanded my palette of incredibly beautiful films that I otherwise would have cheated myself out of. This film does not have a lot of dialogue and honestly, that's the beauty of it. It allows the cinematography, the sound design, and the atmosphere to tell the story. This is a very haunting and creepy film that you will probably want to turn off more than once. But for some reason... I don't think you'll be able to. It almost puts you in a position as the viewer to want to protect the protagonist in a way. This is the life story of a woman named Auburn. And when she was young, her and her mother were casted out of their society and shunned because people believed that they were witches. They live together in a remote cabin and her mother eventually gets sick and dies and she is left all alone in solitude to basically figure things out for herself. It then fast forwards to whenever Auburn is a young woman with a child of her own and very creepy and disturbing things begin to happen. But the brief synopsis does absolutely nothing to explain the events of the film and the endurance test that you're about to go on. This is a film that is very unsettling and it will make you feel incredibly uncomfortable and it has some jaw dropping but necessary disturbing moments. A lot of this I have left out and described very vaguely because it's something that you just need to experience, if you're willing. This is the type of film that's going to be left up to your interpretation, and I have quite a few ideas of what it meant to me. My interpretation was that it's about generational trauma, and how trauma mixed with isolation can break a person, especially when it's learned trauma, especially from a parent. There are many events in this film to support this thought process, but as we know, in dealing with any type of trauma, there are a lot of people that just succumb to it without ever finding relief. Needless to say, there is no happy ending here. But then again, sometimes a cleansing of everything that has ever haunted you is your ticket to freedom. I'm curious to what your thoughts and your interpretation of Hagazusa will be. I'm Chuck. I'd love to be your movie guy. Hit the like button. Give me a follow.